Hello everyone. Uh, here's the back of an NR200P computer that I just set up. But uh, you see it looks pretty normal until you get down to the bottom and dun dun dun. It's an extra expansion card. I am using an ITX board. It's pretty intense, right? Here's what I use. This is an M.2 to PCI Express 4X converter. You can see there it's got a slot with an open back so that you can uh, put larger cards in it, but they'll still run at 4X. It's not a very long extension, uh, and it will drop into just about any M.2 SSD slot that handles NVMe or PCI Express 4.0. I don't think it'll work in the SATA only ones. For some cards, you might need extra power, and it's this one came with an adapter so that you could plug in to SATA power. So that's convenient, I guess. And you can see this is like a 90 degree one also. They also make straight ones that just come out of the back of the thing. And here's the M.2 end. And uh, you can see this will just slot in. It's got that little card there so it could be screwed down. Um, but really I think only about an inch in it branches off into the extension cable that leads to the PCI slot. Uh, here you can see I put it in this x570 uh, itx board from gigabyte well it's pretty tight in there you can see how many other connectors are in the area and i wanted to put the giant aluminum block back on because of the fan and so this this uh, cable has to loop around quite a bit and i couldn't put it on the back because there's just not enough clearance behind the motherboard to loop the cable around i didn't want to make any real hard bends in it because i don't know if it can handle them you can see here that it is still bent quite a bit and it kind of interferes with other cables in the area but it can be pushed around a little bit more still to get it into the right place here it is with the uh, audio cable from the motherboard uh, plugged into the front panel connector or the audio header I mean that's already pushing the cable a little bit. Yeah, I mean, here's another view. It just keeps getting worse and worse. This is with the capture card installed. Now, the whole idea here, of course, was to make a ITX case with a full 4K capture card in it so that I could do both streaming and gaming from a single PC that was tiny. With the PCIe riser thing for the vertical GPU mount in the NR200P. Um, yeah, it just gets more cluttered. But it does fit. And the only problem is um, that you do get some like rubbing of that PCI Express adapter thing, uh, the cable on that metal heatsink. And I have a feeling that if it was moving around a lot or uh, vibrating a lot, it might eventually wear through or pinch or something. But this is what it looks like complete. It works perfectly fine. Everything seems to function properly. I did some PlayStation 5 capture on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I can recommend this if you really need something like this. Um, but honestly, I think I'd probably just build a larger PC with a larger motherboard and case. Uh, you can get some pretty compact micro ATX ones, and that would give you room for the GPU and the uh, capture card. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a good day.